To add dynamics, I use the expression tool and the smart shape tool. With the expression tool selected, I can double click in the score where I want my expression to appear and Finale will open the expressions dialog box. On the left, we see a list of categories. One of them is called dynamics. Each of those dynamic expressions has already a key command assigned to them. You find it in the upper right corner. Click on one to select it and click assign or press the return key to get back to the score. However, it's much better to use the shortcode. For example, if I hold 5 and click, it will enter a mezzo forte. If I press 2, a triple fortissimo. Hold 8 for pianissimo. You probably also want to draw in some crescendos and decrescendos. Do not make that mistake and look for them in the expressions dialog box. Instead, we want to look for them in the Smart Shapes palette. To switch to the Smart Shape tool, you need to open the Tools palette. To do so, press Command T, and there you find the Smart Shape tool. As soon as you select the Smart Shape tool, you should see the Smart Shapes palette appear. If not, you can open it from the Window menu. In the Smart Shapes palette, you find the Decrescendo and Crescendo Smart Shapes subtools. You may activate them, but you don't have to. Even if the Smart Shapes are set to something like a drill, like in this case, you can still draw in a crescendo and decrescendo by simply holding the comma or period keys. If you hold the comma key, you draw in a crescendo. If you hold down the period key, you can draw in a decrescendo. Now, you may have to practice this a little bit. Double click where you want to start drag it while you're holding the mouse button down to where you want the shape to end and release the mouse button.